Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be talking about one of the product fails that happened to me recently. We are going to be talking about the Le Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my goodness, I can literally feel right now all the beauty community people on YouTube coming at me and then telling how dare you and shade our favorite product. How dare you, Zulayla? I was in a hunt of trying this product for so long and finally I got it. And when I got it, oh my goodness, guys, the result is not what I expected. I was super, super excited to try this product and uh, you know, when you test it, they actually have a tester when you go to Sephora or Cosbar or Nordstrom, whatever this product is sold at. So when you test it, you will actually be surprised that the product is extremely lightweight. But when you uh, get the product on your hand, you will kind of still feel a little bit of crunchiness. I can actually feel a little bit of texture in there. Now, before making this video, I wanted to give a fair review for you guys i wanted to give this product a chance several times to kind of see whether i am making the mistake you know when i'm using this powder or is there any specific technique in order to use this powder so anyway yes sometimes you have to trust your instinct so i have actually used this catrice concealer under my eyes today it is super lightweight you know it blends like a dream it actually is very very similar to the maybelline age reviant you know if you do get the right shade this is uh, very similar to this concealer and you guys know maybelline age reviant is one of the old classic one of the best selling products and i personally agree that it's one of the nicest concealers out there so anyway i did use this concealer under my eye today and then i did um do two different techniques on my right eye i did bake with the uh, you know more product you pretty much layer the loose powder under your eye and then let it sit for about you know 10 minutes and then sweep the excess and then you want to use a wet beauty blender you know pack the product under your eye and then on the other side on the left side i have actually used a brush i actually made sure that i did not have any excess product on the brush i tapped the excess and then slowly kind of pack the uh, powder under you know on top of the concealer so there's two techniques going on under my eyes right now and uh, i will actually show you the results all right guys i kind of wanted to update you guys with the loose setting powder it's been on my skin for about three hours now and i want you guys to see the difference the right side as i have mentioned is the baking side and the other side is just the setting side so it makes sense right so as you guys can see i do have a lot more coverage on the right side of my eye with the powder but at the same time it is kind of exaggerating the the texture of my skin if you guys uh, can tell the difference or not my eye area right here i can actually see a lot of my like a teeny teeny the dots under my eyes but at the left side right here as you guys can see if i pull my skin down like i can actually see the creases uh, under my eyes right here so obviously this powder is creasing and it's exaggerating the textures as well and i do not like the dryness right here i always see that you know my under eye area there is like a weird the texture going on when i do use it and there is a lot of dryness obviously and i can also see that it kind of exaggerates the little dots that i naturally do have you know under my eyes i have no idea how, how i got it and i also have tried it to uh, the other areas of my face i have tried it on my cheeks this is where i usually get shiny because of the sunscreen sunscreen makes me look like greasy to be honest so i just put it on my cheeks as well you know when i had my trial period going on and i can actually uh, tell that it exaggerates the dryness of my skin and i do not like how it feels you know the texture is not smooth anyway i have tried this product you know several several times and i feel that uh, my thoughts are the same i don't think that i will reach for this product any longer just because for the sole reason that 
it's not working for my skin texture and to be honest i don't have a that bad of a skin texture on my skin you guys know i am a skincare junkie i love taking care of my skin so this is my concern when it comes to this uh, setting powder and it can also tell something by the way if you are kind of in a mid tone you know mid skin tone and uh, you are more of like olive person this translucent setting powder is going to be too white for your skin it is translucent i have to admit that but uh, you guys know we have a textured skin so this is going to settle to the texture of your skin kind of you know blends into the texture of your skin and then you will see that uh, white um, cast i don't know this is what i see you know even i'm looking at the uh, mirror right here you know from far i can actually see the white you know white cast that this uh, translucent powder gives to my under eye area now when i tried the it cosmetics one this is the one that i have been using for a while ever since i got it i love how this one makes my skin feel extremely smooth you know i do not see any greediness you know on uh, on the product but the only thing is uh, when you do use this product if you do put something on top of it you will actually notice that um, the product kind of avoids the powder i don't know it has a waterproof uh, formula all right guys this is my review about the product again you know try it on your own if you're really interested about uh, good quality setting powders this is sold as one of the best uh, setting powders out there so give it a try see how it works we all have a different skin texture but for my skin texture it has not worked yes guys when someone talks good about the product that does not mean that uh, if that product has worked for that person that's gonna work for you as well you have to try it we all have a different preference for certain products you know we either love the product or hate the product so anyway all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not already i do share a lot of product reviews on my channel if you do like beauty skincare if you do like health fitness oh my goodness i do share a lot on this channel hopefully you're gonna come back and hang out with me in my videos and yes i'm going to see you in the next one have a great day bye guys